What's up everyone? It's Sydney and this is your 30 minute full body max out strength workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. What's up everyone? I'm so excited that you're here today for our 30 minute full body max out workout. Today we're rocking in circuits with every single exercise being pretty much a compound move. So with it being max out, I want you to work your way up to your max weight in each of our three rounds of 30 seconds of work. Okay, so make sure you have your water and your sweat towel. I'll be using my bench a little bit for modifications to kind of incline myself for those flat positions, but if you have one, you wanna grab it, go ahead and pull it out. For your dumbbell weights, let's step it up. I'm gonna use anywhere from 10 to 20 pounds, but you'll have things like squat and press, tricep overhead extensions, where I really want you to push those weights today, okay? Leave it all out there. Don't second guess yourself. Go for the big weights, and if you need to drop down, they're right there for you, okay? So thumbs up, let's go right into the warm up. Big wide stance, three, two, one, here we go. Good job, good stretch in the hamstrings, get the glutes active, one more. Great job, heels to glutes. Think about this workout today three rounds of everything. So maybe round one, you get to know the move. Round two, challenge yourself. Go up as much as you can. Round three, max it out. Three, two, and wide stance. Let's bend one, straighten one. Stretch the inner thigh. Push off the bent leg. Good job, one more. There we go, cross your arms over your chest. We'll have a three minute warm up here. There you go, backward circles. Start your breathing now as we get our body temperature warming up. Forward circles. Great job, step it forward with your right leg. Stretch the hip out. Great job, straighten both legs out. Now go down to the front foot, hamstrings. Great work, step up and switch. Same thing, back leg is back. Good hip stretch here. Keep your ribs nice and tall, so make sure you're not just leaning forward with your chest. Keep everything straight here. Lunge forward so you feel the stretch here. And straighten your front leg. Let's go down in front. Great job. Slowly open it up. Nice wide squat. Sit it down. Push your knees open, and we'll get started here in 30 seconds with reverse lunge, lateral raise. Okay, so three, two, one, and go ahead and jog in place if you need to. Reverse lunge, lateral raise. We've got three rounds here. You're gonna step it back, come up to the top, raise. Okay, 10 seconds and we'll go for 30 seconds. Ready? Big deep breath. Three, two, one, come on. Good job, set it down. Everything's waking up now, you're getting warm. 15 more seconds. with the same exercise three rounds in a row just so we can get that max out effect okay so two more rounds 15 seconds in between and we go in five go up if you can two one let's go good 
Good job. Strong shoulders lead out and then up. 15. Three, two, one. Great work. Here's your max out round. If you can go heavier, bump that weight up. Okay, only 30 seconds. So if you give me four, five, six really good reps, let's go, max it out. Four, three, two, come on, big push. Nice job, go for it, go for it. 15 more seconds. One more, three, two, one, and rest. Beautiful job. 30 seconds, we're gonna go for a deadlift and clean. Okay, heavier weights than this. You're gonna hinge back here, bringing your hips forward with power. Clean and catch, okay? Back down, hinge, clean and catch. So if you can go heavier, let's go. We'll go in 10. Same thing, three rounds. Let's go, two, one, hinge, power forward, catch. Nice work, feel those glutes working. When they're fully stretched, engage, squeeze them together. Back stay strong the whole time. Three, two, one, great job. Go up if you can. Now that you know the movement, you know kind of how the hip is powering that movement and you're just keeping those dumbbells close and catching, let's go heavier. Two, one, here we go. Make sure you're not swinging your dumbbells away from your body like a kettlebell swing. They're riding up the surface or the front part of your body. Staying close and then you're catching underneath. Great work. Four, two, one. Max out round. Let's go. Heavier if you can. I'm going to kind of keep it safe for myself and stay here. Stay with these couple of weights for the workout, but I really need you to push yourself here, okay? If you're thinking, maybe I can, go for it. Two, one, let's go. We're all at a different place, but we all have the ability to work our hardest, to max out what is max out for us. Good, 15, come on. Nice work. Dig those heels in, power forward. Two, one, great work. Sumo squat and front raise is your next move. One challenging dumbbell, okay? Wide stance is your sumo. Go in here, take it down, come up, lift. Okay, you're gonna surprise yourself with how powerful you are with that front raise when it's one dumbbell. If you don't have heavy dumbbells, grab two. We go in eight seconds. Three, two, one, set it down, come on. Here, power. Work on your range of motion. And just like you've been using leg power to move dumbbells for the first two, same thing. Push the floor away. Three, two, one, two more rounds. Let's go up here. Round number two in five. Two, one, let's go. You can make this a little more fluid if you would like. 
can really isolate the shoulder by stopping before you lift. 15. Three, two, one. Last round, max it out. You've got more, give me more. Give yourself more. I never try to say this is about me. It's not, it's about you. Five seconds. Three, two, max out, come on. Good job. Keep the focus for 15 more seconds. Go, go. Three, two, last one. Great job. All right, grab some water. First three exercises, done. Shoulder press and calf raises next. Both very simple movements. I want you to isolate them though, okay? So you're gonna go calf raise up and down, press. Up and down, press. Two arms together, okay? Whew. Let's go in eight seconds. Three, two, one. Calf raise, press. There you go, that way your calf raise is weighted here. You're stable at the bottom before you punch up. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Great job, two more rounds. Whew. Go up if you can. A lot, a lot, a lot of times we are stronger than we think. Two, one, come on. And how do you find out what's, what's your challenging weight? You get to the point where you fail. Okay, I'll get to the point probably in the next round where I can't push heavier weights and I can't get it all the way up and that's better than just doing weights I'm really good at and it's really easy. Seven. Two, one, good. Whew. One last round. Can you go heavier? I'm gonna keep asking you. It's max out round. We're going a little bit lighter for the next exercise, so give me all you've got. Three, two, let's go. Fifteen, go, go. If you've got the same weight, increase the tempo. Four, three, two, and rest. Beautiful work. And we're going chest fly in a glute bridge, if you can. Okay, so lay it down flat on the floor, if you're able to. I'm gonna do just an incline chest fly for myself. But if you're able to go down to the floor, go to the floor and you're gonna hold the bridge as you chest fly. All right. All right, we'll go in 15 seconds. All right, nice rounded arms. Go ahead and get up into your bridge. We go in three, two, one, let's go. Fifteen, good job. If you're bridging, keep those glutes together. Two, one, great job. All right, two more rounds. If you can go heavier, I need you to do that. 
Maybe you put a band on your glutes, whatever it is. Four, three, two, one, let's fly. Five, four, two, one. Good job, you got one more round here. <sighs> Heavier with the arms, hold the bridge up longer. Maybe you can add a little pulse with your bridge. Let's go, four, dumbbells up, hips up if you can, two, one, come on. Last 30. Good job, 15. Four, three, two, one, and rest. Good job, 30 seconds rest. Proud of you for that one. We're going to stay in the same position here. I wanna give you two options. One, if you need to modify like myself for any reason, you're just gonna go skull crushers, okay? So dumbbell one or two over here and back up. If you're laying flat on the floor and you can use your abs right now, I want you to lift your legs so your feet are over your hips. And as you lower into the skull crusher, lower one or two legs, okay? So kind of incorporating a leg raise with a skull crusher. All right, we'll go in 15 seconds. I want to give you time to get your heavier dumbbells or pick two that work for your skull crusher weight. Add the abs if you can. Just keep the skull crusher if you need to. Four, three, Two, let's go. Make sure you're breathing. 15. Exhale as you push up. Five, four, come on. Two, one, great work, you've got two more rounds of that. And if your core is struggling to keep up, you can just keep one leg up top and drop one at a time as you lower into your skull crusher, okay? Round number two, three, two, one, come on. Great work, 14, 13. Three, good, two. And rest. All right, one more round. Really push yourself here, okay? Triceps are the main focus, but if you can add the abs, go for it. Here we go, five. Two, one, last 30, go for it. We're over halfway through this workout, by the way, so I really need you to step it up. <sighs> 15. Four, good job, three, two, one and rest, beautiful work. All right, grab water, you can come on up to standing. We're gonna go squat and press. Pure power movement here, okay? Two dumbbells, squat, come up out of that squat and you press straight up to the sky. <coughs> All right, so. 15 seconds, you're right here with your dumbbells. Squat, press, okay? Let's go in, eight. Three, two, one, come on, squat, full press. Extend up top, bring it down, squat again. Use your legs.
10, 9, 2, 1. Good work. Can you go heavier? This is going to be one I think, yeah, you can go heavier at least one time. Okay? Squat and press. Six seconds for round two. Three, two, one. Come on. Fifteen, come on. Big push. Last one. Three, two, one. Good. One more time through. What can you go for? Max it out right here. Four. Three, I know you know this move. Two, one, come on. Exhale, get it up there, 15 more seconds. Go, 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 come on, six, five. And rest. Great job. Lunge and alternating row. Taking one dumbbell. I'm just gonna switch every time, okay? So you're gonna take it either forward or reverse lunge. I'm gonna go reverse. As I step back, I row at the bottom, come back up, switch. Okay, palm faces backwards. I'm here. Let's go in five. Ready? Three. Two, one, step it back, row at the bottom, keep your shoulders and your hips level. Good job. <sighs> Two more rounds. Let's go up if you can. <sighs> Breathe, you're right there. Four, three, two, big step back, and a big row. Pulling right to your chest. Seconds, great work. Two, one. All right, let's go. Turn it up a little more. Last round, max out. And you think of the idea that you're alternating, so only half the work per arm and leg each round. So bump it up. Two, one, let's go. That's it. Woo, come on. 15. Six, five. Three, two, one. And rest. Woo. Grab water, we're almost there. Tricep kickbacks, two arms and one leg, okay? So you're gonna take it here, kick, bend, kick, bend, and that's optional. So if you don't wanna do the leg extension or the hip extension, just tricep kickbacks, okay? Let's go in six. Come on, this is a max out workout, so we're gonna keep moving. Two, one, let's go. And the other uh, leg extension component to this is just to activate the glutes a little bit, get you to focus on a solid core, Foundation. Nine, 
Nine, eight. And rest, good. Two more rounds. And then we've got a little builder at the end where you'll add on something each round to really max out your efforts, okay? Round two, let's go. Three, two, one. Keep your elbows right there. Keep your back strong, make sure your shoulders aren't rounding forward. Fifteen. Five, four, two, one, and last round. Go up if you can. Down if you need to, but up if you can. And then we're gonna go for a full body finisher that I know you're gonna love. Four, three, two, let's go. Flex, come on. I know you're extending the hip and extending the elbow, but flex the muscles, the tricep, the glute. 15. Three, two, one, and great job. All right, last exercise. Three rounds of 45 seconds, and we're gonna build on each round. First round, you're doing squat, hang, snatch. Okay, so one arm at a time. You're going here, squat, hang, snatch. Down, switch, squat, snatch, okay? Let's go there in eight seconds for 45. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. Using lots of leg power here. Get your hips back, and then they're fully extended as you allow that momentum to carry the dumbbell up to full lockout. Fifteen. Two, one, rest. Now you're gonna do two arms, okay? So grab the other dumbbell to what you were just doing, if you can, all right? Here and up, all right? You're locking out with your arms right beside your ears. Two, one, 45 seconds, let's go. Good job, let's get it, last 15. Nine, eight. One more, two, one, and now you're adding a burpee to that, okay? So dumbbells on the ground, if you can, up and back, boom, boom, you're here, overhead snatch. If you need to modify, you take it to a bench, with your dumbbells. We go in three, two, one. Let's go, 45 seconds. Max it out and you've made it. Full hip extension up top, come on. You're strong, you're strong. <sighs> 10, nine, four, three, one more all together. Two, one, and rest. 
beautiful job. And you have made it to your cool down, full body max out workout complete. Stay standing for me. <sighs> Grab onto your right foot or your left foot, pull your heel to your glute and let's stretch it out. Cooling it down, slowing your breathing down. There we go. How many of you surprised yourself with the weight that you used today that you thought, I don't normally use this, but I'm gonna go up. Switch legs. I want everyone to be able to say that every now and then. And it doesn't always have to be that you have this huge array of dumbbells. It can just mean, okay, I'm using the same dumbbell weight, but I'm gonna move it a little bit quicker. I'm gonna get some more reps in. I'm gonna give it more intensity. Okay, that's progressive overload. That's how we get stronger. That's how we grow muscle. Cross arm over your body. And I'm so proud of you for crushing what is the last full body workout of this program. So great job. Switch it over. And I hope you can see throughout this month, every time we do kind of like the last couple workouts of a program, I just want you to show yourself how much stronger you've gotten because you've put in the work. Not because it's been easy. The exact opposite. Because it's been tough. Because you've stepped into what's not easy. Okay, I know we talk about the irony of strength training all the time, but that's truly how we get stronger. Wide stance, take your hands here, shift your hips back. Okay, it's just like any skill. If you do the same thing, if you wanna be an artist and you draw the same picture all the time, you never challenge yourself to add color, you never challenge yourself to add shading, you're never gonna step into that next level of your artist talent. It's the same thing with strength training. If you always stay with what you're good at, you avoid what is tough for you. You're never gonna get better at what's tough for you. And in that way, you're never gonna allow those perceived weaknesses to be previous weaknesses. All right, slowly come up. Make your way back up to standing. Hands on your tailbone. Any weakness that you think you have right now can be temporary. You just have to make up your mind to attack it. Okay, I don't know how to cook a cake. Only way I'm gonna learn is just to do it, right? I don't know if I can do 20 pound squats. Only way I'm gonna learn is to try it. If I can't do it yet, that's my new goal, okay? Step into what you're afraid of or what challenges you more than you think. Cross your leg over, shift your hip towards the backside leg. And step into something today, switch legs, that you think, I'm not sure if I can do this. I'm not sure if I'm good at this. This is a little bit scary. Two things are gonna happen. One, you're gonna surprise yourself with, okay, it wasn't that hard, I wasn't that far off. Or number two, you're gonna have a new goal and you're gonna say, I really wanna be able to do that. I'm close, but here's what I gotta work on to get there. Keep challenging yourself in that way and we will keep growing in that way. Before you head out today, give this video a big thumbs up if you're here right now and you crushed it. Subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications and I want you to comment, I am stronger than I think in the comments below. I'll see you tomorrow. Great work today, I'm so proud of you. And if you want a little bit more work, I've linked a video for you right over here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel right over here and stretch your body with the video right down here. I'll see you back here for our next workout.